Welcome to the complete animation of The Dragon from Skydance Animation's 2022 animated feature film, Luck. So, this movie is an Apple TV streaming exclusive, and I don't like that because I like this movie enough that I went to own it on 4K Blu-ray, but because it's Apple exclusive, the best I'm going to get is the footage that you have here which is like actually really good footage like the, the the quality of this is pretty good but i would like the absolute pristine of the real 4k stuff but at least i do have a 4k source file to make this video with now luck is an interesting movie i do recommend it to people but i also won't like say anything like oh it's a masterpiece or anything i have a bunch of issues with its story i find the main character human girl to be not the greatest but um bob bob the black cat he steals the show he is like like if there was ever a reason to watch this movie it's because of that character he is just so good visually and the way he talks it's so good but this um character the dragon she's also interesting um halfway through the movie she tells you oh call me babe and then some people do call her that but in the credits she's just listed as dragon not the dragon just dragon so i don't even really know what this character's name is um and she was voiced by jane fonda now, my love of the animated movie from Amblimation, Balto, makes, gives me a sort of an interesting association with the Fonda family. Um, they've, a bunch of them have been in movies, and Balto, um, the voice of Jenna, was Bridget Fonda, who was actually the niece of Jane Fonda here in this movie. And I think that she did a pretty good job, but I feel like her character is kind of lopsided overall. Um, not the character model. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Like, the reason I'm making this is because I love dragons. Dragons are really cool. And this movie has a cool dragon. And I wish that more movies had dragons. And all I gotta say is, um, the dragon from the Shrek series, eat your heart out because this is how you make a feminine dragon. Obviously, like, this dragon is very different, like, anatomically. She's got six legs. And I love how, the, how they work with the six legs. The, it's like... <sighs> One of the things I love about animation is that you get to see things moving and, like, acting in things that you'll never see in your life. I am never in my life going to see a dragon. I'm never in my life going to see, you know, a creature like this with six legs. And so the genius of animation is you get to show these things that will never exist, but you get to show them in a way that like ex like let, lets you accentuate those things and so during this complete animation um one of my favorite things is just watching how they deal with having six legs and the hind legs are really cool like big you know muscular things to carry the weight of the entire body but then it's like she's perfectly comfortable walking on all sixes or on just her back fours it's really interesting and um, I think that uh, the just like, yeah, the animation in this movie is really good. Um, I, I do like how Bob, how expressive he is. Like, uh, you know, the second I saw... The first thing that I ever saw of this movie was a screenshot of the dragon and the main character, Sam. And I was like, oh, wow. 
I'm going to make a complete animation of that dragon. And I did. It, like, I, like I, I'm narrating it right now. I'm doing the commentary. But actually having watched the movie, I think I'm going to make another one. And it's going to be about Bob the cat. Because, holy cow, he is an incredible character. So expressive. And ugh, I love what they do with his ears. And just... Ugh, it's so nice to just have such a major character that is literally just a black cat. That's what he is. Basically, the only thing that makes him not special is that he talks and that he has opposable thumbs. Um, but yeah, so story-wise, I, I I like what the dragon did um, a for some of it. Like, she... She never, it's like she, if there was a villain, she got, she's the closest that this movie had to one. When near the end, she's like, I am going to make it so that good luck is the only thing that exists. But why, like, I appreciate the, the, like, the motions that this movie went through story-wise, but the actual execution, I feel like, had a lot to be desired. Like... The actual her, you know, doing that and trying to do the bad thing, but then not doing it didn't feel really satisfying. But just like what they were going for, re I really like. The dragon never was evil and like she was never like antagonistic. It's like, yeah, she's, you know, the CEO of the whole good luck operation, but she doesn't like antagonize anybody she like yeah it's really nice to see a character that you know has stuff that they want to do and then has an idea but then they realize it's not good the actual execution felt a little corny and forced you know it like the whole time when Sam is, you know, talking her out of doing the bad thing. At the end, the only thing I could think is, where have I seen this before? Just, you know, giant monologue that, you know, makes the person not do the bad thing in the end. All I could think is, man, this is just like the ending of the first Equestria Girls movie. And it's like, if you're gonna do it, you might as well go go completely ham about it. And uh, it's like it's like they half-heartedly did it in this movie. It didn't land. I like that's the thing about this movie. There were so many things about it that I did like, but then there are also so many things that just didn't land, like pacing wise and things. Um, visually, I really like it. But, yeah, story-wise, I think this movie's got some issues. But one of the things I really like about the visuals of the dragon is just the detail of the scales, especially around her hands. Like, just so knobbly and, like, rough. But at the same time, it just works. So, yeah. I recommend Luck, but I... I understand that it's not a perfect movie. If if Cinema Sins or Saber Spark ever make a video discussing this movie, I wouldn't be surprised if they'd tear it a complete new one. But I think that this movie has enough going for it that makes me like it. Now, one of the things that I think is weird is, you know, they were in danger of having the crystal fall off, but they're in an area where literally gravity is going um it is like equalizing right in the middle and then they do it right there like they they show it so if the crystal did fall off i guess the only danger would be that in the middle of it there is these you know giant swinging metal blades that might shatter it but in terms of like oh we dropped it there's no bottomless pit or anything like it it's just gonna be there um and then I feel like the ending wasn't super satisfying. Yeah, I'm going to chalk Luck as being one of those movies that for me has moments 
I really like, is visually appealing basically the entire way through, but has serious issues story-wise. I'll have to watch it again in a while. Like, there are just some movies where I can tell I need more time with this. I need to I need to cool down after I've seen it, come back, watch it again in, you know, more ideal circumstances and give it another shot. And I think that if I do that, I might find more to like about this movie. But as it stands, I think the biggest failing of this movie is that it's a streaming exclusive. I like why can't there be streaming exclusives that then also have physical releases, you know? Because there are people like me who visual fidelity matters so much. And when I don't even have a chance to have, you know, the premium reference quality viewing experience, it, I don't like it. I kind of wish the dragon had a name, you know, and a real name, not a title like Babe. Oh well. Thanks for watching.